question uh, will be, uh, can you share an experience from your current project or any project uh, you worked on where you, uh, where your understanding of both technology and managerial aspect impacted the outcome or helped with its success? Okay. Uh, so, for example, my my uh, last projects which which I was working for an Indian insurance startup company, and where uh, the the organization wanted to integrate their core core insurance system uh, with the uh, with the phone pay uh, and policy bazaar. Okay, which are the prominent e-commerce sites for selling their insurance uh, uh, insurance policies. They wanted to do it. The the core challenge which which we faced over there was that the core software solution that that we have we, we were working on is monolithic in design and it takes more than two minutes to be precise and more than 2.2.52 seconds to provide a quotation on on a website so it, it is like uh, like they were basically on the bottom of the list when when someone goes to policy bazaar and tries to get a quote uh, of a general insurance or a car insurance they are they are they are listed at the end and uh, which is basically totally non-acceptable and for the business okay so now now we are in a situation where we we had to adapt to a to a methodology or a technology which could serve or position the insurance policies quotes to the to the top top 10 search okay so how did how did you did we do it that we basically first adopted the devops principle and disintegrated all the all the tightly coupled system components to host microservices and event-based architecture to create open APIs. These open APIs not only provided the code in microseconds, but also they parallelly consumed the information from other service providers to, to provide a better result in terms of in terms of new ratings, new uh, service offerings. And not only these newer ratings provided a cheaper policy options to the customers, but also made the insurance company profitable within no time. It's it's like it was like within within a period of two two months, this company started being being a non-profit organization to a profitable organization. I would say that that cloud delivery methodologies like DevOps and 12-factor app are the core principles that made this possible, along with some open source technologies like Kubernetes. For sharing that with us, because such kind of experience yeah. at least helps students to learn from real time experiences from yeah. very experienced people like you. So, uh, my next question actually it's a statement that you have a remarkable career expanding from working with big names like SAP, MSG System, Middleways, and now Infosys. What advice would you give to tech professional aiming to transition into managerial role in the IT consulting? Okay, the basic basic under, basic first thing they should actually do is that basic understanding of new new technology and the proper use cases that would uh, that should be the foundation the, the use cases uh, to to fit those uh, those new technologies to to uh, to the business problem areas. Uh, it should be the foundation like that should be the foundation for for should be laid for any tech professional. So understanding of any open source technology yeah. along with a cloud um, infrastructure is a must. Next is that analytical skill that is to identify main access uh, business processes and their shortcomings that hinder the growth of the uh, organization's growth. It could be your own organization or your client's organization's growth that 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 uh, uh, that uh, that have shortcomings uh, that are basically basically pulling the organization to grow further. Using feed gap analysis uh, of these processes and how their tools can be enhanced or rebuilt altogether using new technologies are must. Here, I would like to also mention that data science has played an immense role, immense role in 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 uh, identifying such cases uh, and uh, uh, and moreover, managers in my in my opinion, managers now now nowadays. Should incline towards taking data-driven decisions in make, making such such huge cases, so that when when you are you are done with your huge case preparation, saying that okay, let's say for uh, I have mostly worked in insurance too. Okay, so here here what happens when your underwriting case comes? To, so the so so a policy uh, a policy holder or a prospect 
policy holder who comes comes to insurance company and says that okay i have this 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 uh, of information with me i have this chronic diseases with me or i have this diseases in my past and take a decision so it takes approximately one one to two days for a doctor who sits in an organization to properly identify a rating strategy for that to offer to that customer okay and in my opinion any data science along with the ai uh, or machine learn, learning algorithms could be reutilized utilized to to reinvent their process where where the where the doctor or someone someone at the organization who is or, or underwriter who is basically taking that decision could be assisted so that so that so that uh, this process becomes faster and such kind of such kind of fit gap uh, analysis makes uh, makes the process smoother uh, and you can actually achieve more out of out of the organizations outcome when i say, say uh, organizations outcome that means that when when your organizations organizations organization is taking taking more than two days to take that 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 decision that could be reduced to two hours or or less than two hours to take such kind of decision what in strategies to be followed to to offer or make a counter offer to that to that customer okay so such kind of such kind of fit gap analysis should be done to to identify the use cases and those use cases could be applied uh, along with the technologies which are available in the market true true we are generating a lot of data and if you are working with it we have to optimize it to make the process we have to so, um, my question is considering this dynamic nature of technology how do you ensure that your teammates your juniors and your team members remain agile and adaptable to this new technology trend while maintaining that the stability of project and its continuity yeah so so basically basically saying that when we when we talk about uh, maintaining project stability and continuity that's a must like there is no way uh, way that we can disrupt the existing existing business continuity or or a project stability and invent something new okay that that has to be a parallel activity but the, but the coordination between these two processes has to be balanced in such a way that they go both hand in hand in hand for example uh, for for the first step that that we should actually uh, actually the team has to be encouraged to explore new technologies or they have to be upskilled because 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 there is no way that we can we can expect something out of the team members to uh, to think without knowing about it so so first is the knowledge that has to be there there with them so that they would know that okay what which what, what are the processes every every other organizations or the top notch organizations are executing let's say for example we have uh, we have uh, netflix with us okay netflix has reinvented the whole process altogether okay so that is a huge case now like like they have they have the video renting organization they have reinvented the whole video renting process and made it online okay so that is a huge case so such kind of analytical skills has to be put uh, into the team members uh, and aligned them to think towards that direction that they could actually think of, of other possibilities rather than rather than following the usual trend of software development they could always think about think about something what to be invented where where if this can be this can this there is a new possibility could be could be found okay uh, what what i did is that we we have weekly brainstorming sessions uh, with the whole team to identify such critical business processes and prioritizing the adaptation strategies that that we could we could note it down and with next with every review meetings with the stakeholders or the business leaders we present this these huge cases with the business okay. and the feedbacks which are given to from the stakeholders are actually presented again back to the team members so that this this becomes a guide guiding principles for the for the team members to adapt accordingly so that they they would know that okay what business wants what which with which directions uh, this uh, new adaptation will take us lead us and accordingly accordingly the team members can adapt themselves to towards this new technology this this would also make the team more informed about the technology trends and the business trends which are going going in in, in the market and adopt adopt required technology so technology adaptation is 
not a not a big challenge when it comes to tech, technical people but the thing is that it has to be it has to be uh, it has to align with the business needs as well so you you shouldn't invent something which is which may not be may not be needed for the business at all so first thing is that the business should give a feedback loop or always has to be established with the business business team team or the business leaders so that we would always be aligned with the need of the client along with with what we are inventing so that's that's the that's the that's that is i would say that that i have adopted for my team and i would say that has worked well for me that's great sir so uh, if i talk about erp especially if you focus on sap and also mm -hmm. how uh, the integration of ai in cloud with every domain of it how, uh, what do you how do you see the future landscape of it consulting in erp with this advent of ai and cloud computing how they going to integrate okay. so definitely so so erp uh, since since the invent of erp uh, it has it has gone through a series of waves of technology advancement from basic system of records now it it has become a system of decisions like now many more and i i what i am seeing is that many more such such use cases such, such inventions will be coming up and where more informed decisions based on the historical data that has been collected with the organization lying lying with the organization for decades could be utilized to build ml machine learning algorithms and harness the ai decisions to assist the business so so any business now basically could utilize the massive power of the cloud to process and de decide make decisions which which were earlier human driven and now could be more accurate with ai assistant and the same same what i see here is that sap erp systems i also see that there are uh, there are few few technologies to name like uh, business technology platform that is that is a new new innovation from sap along with the new database which which came uh, came to sap which is sap hana that has that has came together and along with the along with the python uh, machine learning algorithms tensor flow algorithms this this previously which the decisions which were which were manual in nature or not automate automated in nature or uh, not accurate uh, in nature could now be be uh, more accurate uh, and uh, this decisions could be driven driven uh, by the by the ai assistants i think there are there will be more assist ai assistants will be coming uh, in coming years which will basically help you uh, help the erp core erp system to grow grow further and uh, and more automated in a in a way well that ends with our questions all questions are so as we come to the end of this episode of technocast i extend a heartfelt gratitude to you for making this conversation very informative and thought provoking thank you once again from the team systemx and iift for being part of this technocast series thank you again sir thank you so much thank you so much